From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. The universe is a big place. We have no idea how large it is and we're not sure what it contains. Could life exist on other planets? There seems to be enough room. But could these life forms visit Earth? That debate continues. Skeptics argue there's no proof of alien life, but UFO watchers believe the proof is all around us. Here are the facts. Almost everyone has heard of unidentified flying objects or UFOs. Reports of UFOs date back into antiquity. These reports don't prove aliens exist, they just mean that someone saw something in the air. According to Project Blue Book, 90% of UFO sightings can be attributed to weather, man-made devices, or other mundane causes. But some UFO watchers think we don't need to look to the skies for proof. There's plenty of mysterious stuff on the ground. Here's where it gets crazy. Researchers like Eric Von Daniken believe in the ancient astronaut theory, which states that aliens visited Earth's civilizations in the remote past and were worshipped as gods. As evidence, these theorists point to enigmatic drawings and carvings found across the world. These images are thought to resemble modern-day descriptions of UFOs and aliens, but it doesn't stop there. For centuries, modern man had no idea how older civilizations built marvels like the Pyramids of Giza or Machu Picchu. Researchers like Giorgio Tsoukalos believe that extraterrestrials helped construct the pyramids. Tsoukalos also believes aliens were involved with the Nazca Lines, enormous geoglyphs stretching across the Peruvian desert. These lines trace out images that can only be seen from the air, yet they were built millennia before the airplane. According to this theory, the Nazca Lines are a solicitation, pleading for the return of the Sky Gods. Von Daniken and Tsoukalos cite other examples to support their theories, including the practice of skull modification in Mesoamerica. They believe this process of elongating the skull was intended to make upper-class members of the society resemble these ancient astronauts. Sounds weird, right? Before you answer that, consider cargo cults. A cargo cult is a religious movement that occurs when modern technology impacts a developing culture. For example, during World War II, the technology of Allied forces astonished native Pacific Islanders. Radios and fighter planes seemed to be a kind of magic. The native people created symbolic rifles and uniforms to mimic the soldiers they saw as gods. One of these cults continues today, on Tana Island in Vanuatu. So we know the behavior ascribed to these ancient cultures is within the reach of human psychology. The real question is whether there were aliens around worth worshipping. History is a treacherous subject. After all, it's usually written by the winners. The further back we go, the more elusive the truth becomes. Skeptics call the ancient astronaut theory a pseudoscience, born of institutionalized racism. Believers see it as a key to the incredible secrets of humanity's past. Are ancient astronauts a hoax designed to dismiss the achievements of bygone empires? Or are these vague carvings evidence of the world's first cargo cult? The remnants of something they don't want you to know.